Hello everybody, uh, Simona here. Welcome to my art channel. Today we will do a fall inspired pool. For me it's always very difficult. I don't get inspired by the fall colors. I live in the Dominican Republic where we have permanent summer. But you inspired me all with all your beautiful fall colors. So now I want to try it again. So here I have a split background. One part is Artina cream. I don't know if you know the brand. It came from Europe. And the other one is a mix of titanium white and quinacridone nickel azo gold. Really just a touch of the quinacridone nickel azo gold and most of it is white. Just for this uh, little creamy yellowy color. Okay, our colors today are Alizarin Crimson by Grumbacher. Next we have um, the Pink Diamond, that's a Prism Pool by Color Art. Then we have Golden Fluid, Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. Then we have uh, Pigment from Color Art, that's Sassafras. And then on top we have a, a Iridescent Gold. And it's from Le Franc Bourgeois. It's a vinyl emulsion rather than an acrylic paint, but it works wonderfully well. And then I'll top, uh, top it off with a little bit of Amsterdam Titanium White mixed um, with water only. About a 60% paint, 40% water. Just to see if it can make us a few little cells and brighten the colors up a little bit. All right, we shall start with our... Uh, Alizarin Crimson. I really want that color to show up, so I'll add quite a bit of it. Okay. Then comes our pink diamond. A little bit of sparkle. Those are very, very beautiful and sparkly colors, those prism pores. Okay. Now, the nickel azo gold alone may not be a super good looking color but it does wonderful things with other colors and with light colored backgrounds so rather than on top i will put a line on both sides of the crimson have to be a hundred percent correct because we'll have a few more colors to fill into our strip in the center there okay on top of that in the center I'll put uh, the sassafras okay. clocked up the baby come on Now we have our vinyl emulsion and iridescent gold. Okay. And now on the top of that, I want to lay one more line, thin line of the crimson, just to make sure it shows up. Okay. Just a second. 
and shake that up well. Now let's pop the bubbles. Okay. Let's blow this baby out. This is already my second go. First one didn't work out the way I wanted, as it so happens very often. So normally I would lay a bead of my white, or my cream in that case. Well, it may just be enough, because I'm just at the end of it. It'll be fine. Okay, let's lay that out a little bit on the other side. Just to make, no, I don't want to blow it over like a typical Dutch pour. I just want to make sure it has enough base coat to flow freely. Okay. Okay, now I just have to. this baby out. I'm going to start in the middle somewhere here and blow first in one direction and then in the other direction. Beautiful. That's really beautiful. I like that. Yeah, that's beautiful. I like that a lot. I have a little something in here. Oh, that's gone. So, I'm sorry, I just have to stare at it for a moment. I would have hoped to get that in a little bit more. So I will just help that a little bit. And I'll just, somewhere here, a little bit of that. It's not good to go too often over the same colors in a Dutch pour because they will make it muddy. But I'm still not going to stop before I'm happy with it. 
uh, but one more time over it, not more than that for sure. That's it with the blower. That's yeah. the colors of that crimson is really just stunning. So I'm a fiddler, so I'll fiddle with it a little bit. I like to define my petals a little bit. Usually when they're just hit here and here, I'll just blow in with a base coat and blow it in to define them and separate them a little bit. Just like that. so far. Okay, that's good. Okay. Just see if there is. Let's just torch it entirely. That little one will be enough to make the difference. colors I really do they're pretty all right let's work a little bit with my dotting tool
going to pull as many out as if I do a, a botanical one. So just a little here and there. time and pull that in a little bit more yeah that's one and then to the finer tip we'll just give it a few of those little whimsical touches I like those just a few I like it. I really like it. It's really beautifully colored. I don't know when to stop. That's very often my problem. Because the next thing I would <laughs> to do is uh, go ahead and put a focal point in. But this paint from a normal Dutch pour, it's way thinner than the paint of a botanical Dutch pour. So it doesn't really hold. However, I have a very solid plot of gold there. So let's just break them up a little bit by pulling some other colors in, into it. And it doesn't show as a big splotchy thing anymore. Okay, I think we're ready with that. And uh, as usual, oh, look at that. There's something in the paint. Come on. There it is. All right, until the next time. Bye.